Hi there, my name is Dr. Marissa May. In this video, we'll be looking to estimate the product by first rounding the numbers and then doing the multiplication. Now, I think the wording here on the rounding can get a little confusing. It asks us to round each number so that it only has one non-zero digit. Here's what that means in layman's terms. Round the number to the highest place value. So for instance, when I'm rounding 7,568, the highest place value is the thousandths place. When I'm rounding 563, the highest place value is the hundredths place. So let's round the 7,568 first. We know we wanna to round to the thousandths place, so we're gonna focus our eye on the digit to the right, asking ourselves, is this digit five or higher? Yes, it is. So we're gonna kick that seven up by one. So we're gonna kick it up by one, making it eight. And then you have to place zeros for the remaining place values. So a zero for the hundreds, a zero for the tens, and a zero for the ones. Now we'll do the same thing over here with the 563. We're gonna focus our attention on the digit just to the right. Ask ourselves, is this five or higher? Yes, it is. So we're gonna kick that five up by one, making it six, and then filling the remaining place values in with zeros. Now that we've done the rounding, we multiply. I don't know about you, but I love to use the trick to multiply with numbers that ending in zero. We multiply the eight times the six, which gives us 48. And then however many zeros there are, we put that many zeros on our answer. So count them, one, two, three, four, five. Five zeros, one, two, three, four, five. I'll go back and put my commas in for our answer here. 